Hey guys, it's 540 on June 2nd, 2018, and guess what I found? <laughs> I found some old calendars that I had stashed away for record-keeping purposes from an estate sale that I had done several years ago for a lady in Gross Point. And I thought, wow, well, maybe I can use these calendars to look back into the Mandela Effect for the Thursday of Thanksgiving, because that was actually one that bugged me, right? And what I wanted to do was take you guys through three levels of evidence that has made me reconsider what I initially thought, okay? Well, actually four levels, but I'm only gonna show you three. I'll just explain the fourth one. First of all, we can look at the printed dates, okay? Now everybody's gonna say, oh yeah, but that all changed. That was all supernaturally changed, okay? Let's just say that this was supernaturally changed, the date. But then there are two other levels of evidence that I wanna go through here with all of these calendars that literally span from 1956 and go all the way through to 1996. I have literally until 1996, not all, every year, but close to. And then what we're gonna see is we're gonna see the activity that's written on the fourth Thursday and the activity that's written on the third Thursday. Based on the activity that's been recorded for these two Thursdays in these calendars, we should be able to glean some information and really start weighing the evidence. Because here's the thing, if I'm wrong, I'm willing to admit I'm wrong. And since it had been several years since I had made Thanksgiving dinner, and the for the for third Thursday is, is much more easy to remember than fourth Thursday, it's very possible that I had just forgotten. And I'm just going to leave that up to you guys to decide for yourselves, but I think humility here is a big deal. Because what I see happening is that people are being gaslighted into a vanity that is quite literally fatal when they take this to the Bible. Now, I'm not taking this to the Bible. I'm just going to lay out some evidence to show you what makes me think that I made a mistake based on completely independent evidence here, okay? I'm gonna go through these calendars with you. And just to show you that this is not my handwriting, here's this lady's handwriting that we're gonna look at. I just wanna show you my handwriting. My handwriting is very, very different. These are my notebooks. This is my handwriting. My handwriting is totally different. You can see I write more sloppy. I use a lot of different cursive. I don't usually do capital letters. I mean, I do do capital letters, but you can see they're not, they're nothing like hers, okay? So there, I just thought I'd show you these things and show you. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go through the details in these calendars. Now, first, let's start with 1956. We see here that, yes, Thanksgiving Day is marked as the fourth Thursday. And on the third Thursday, there's not much activity here. All we see is that it's Math Brothers, okay? Can't really make much conclusions about that. That's 1956. 1955 is very similar. We have the fourth Thursday. Now we note, though, that she had dinner with the Swallenders in 1956. She had dinner at the Baxter's. The Baxter, or Baxter came, yeah, at Baxter for dinner on that one. And she doesn't mark anything for the third Thursday. Okay. Now let's look at 1957. <clears throat> 1957, we have November started on a Friday. The first Thursday, she has nothing recorded. The second Thursday, rain. That's all she wrote. Now, if this was, let's see, rain. And then on the third Thursday, snow flurries. Now, if she, this was something that was, you know, if this was Thanksgiving Day, wouldn't she have put who she ate dinner with or whatever? She writes down when she goes to Baxter's for supper and color TV in 1956, okay? But here again, we see on this fourth Thursday of November, 19, what did I say this year was? 19, 1957, okay? The fourth Thursday again, she's eating with or at Swallander's. Okay, and it also says that it's Thanksgiving Day there. So we have, a couple of consistent records here that she's eating on the fourth Thursday at Swallander's. Now let's look at 1958. Okay, the first Thursday char goes to Merrill and Palmer. The second Thursday, it's just warm and rained. The third Thursday, nothing. Nothing is recorded on the third Thursday. And on the fourth Thursday, again, we have dinner at Swallander's, okay? So th this lady is very consistent on the fourth Thursday of the year. She's eating at Swallander's. Here we go again, 1960. 1960, third Thursday, first Thursday, nothing. 
second Thursday, Chaz went to the doctor. On the third Thursday, Chaz went to the doctor again. Okay, so here's the scoop. Why, why would she be going to the doctor on Thanksgiving Day if the third Thursday of, Thanksgiving, of, of November was Thanksgiving? But again, look what we see on the fourth Thursday. Beautiful. She went to Swallander's for dinner. Okay. Let's look at, what year is this? 1964, or 1961, sorry. 1961, the first Thursday was very warm. 70 degrees. That's why I save these calendars to keep track of that stuff. Fair, Char was home from school. So that, let's see, what, how many Thursdays do we have here? We got one Thursday, two Thursdays, is that right? And this one, one Thursday, two Thursday. Three Thursdays, all she's noting is that it rained and it was warm. And the fourth Thursday, she writes herself. You see, there's nothing written here that says it's Thanksgiving. This is in her handwriting. Rain. George and Sue were here for Thanksgiving dinner. Notice that again. It doesn't say that it's actually Thanksgiving here. It doesn't say that, that it's actually Thanksgiving. She just says that she went to the Swallenders. Okay, There's, Thanksgiving is not marked. The holidays are not marked on these particular calendars here. And the same with all, well, not all of them, but the next couple ones I want to show you. Okay, so this now is 1962. First Thursday, Chaz went to the doctor again. Third, second Thursday, Chaz got a blood test and went to the doctor. Chaz stayed home and went to the doctor on the third Thursday. See, so this is the, this is the second year in a row when Chaz is going to the doctor on the day that should be Thanksgiving if it was on the third Thursday. But on the fourth Thursday, she has dinner at Stouffer's in Northland with Mrs. Brown. Now, Stouffer's was a fancy restaurant around here back in the 60s where you could have Thanksgiving dinner. And this is an activity that repeats. There's no Thursday in that week. First Thursday, Chaz went to the dentist. Second Thursday, Chaz goes back to the dentist. Third Thursday, Char has her hair done. So, so are we saying that all of this information that's recorded from the history of this woman's calendars is wrong? I mean, who gets their hair done on Thanksgiving Day? You see, this is the stuff that made me have to wonder if I was wrong. You know, I have to be, I have to be humbled by the evidence I'm seeing. And this is somebody else's handwriting that shows that on the third Thursday of November in 1963, she's this char person is getting their hair done well nobody gets their hair done on thanksgiving day and here go here we go again look at here's another thursday the fourth thursday on in november when she's having dinner at stouffer's with mrs brown same thing she did last year how come she's having these repeated events of having dinner with these people or at these restaurants on on the fourth of thursday and she's going to doctor's appointments and getting hair appointments on the third thursday do you see my argument here Okay, so this first Thursday, nothing. Second Thursday, it was 69 degrees. That's why I saved these things. Third Thursday, they went to the Masonic Temple, the Kiru Ballet. That's possible that you could go to a ballet on Thanksgiving night, but I doubt it. But then here we go again. The Thursday that would be Thanksgiving. It doesn't say it's Thanksgiving. It just says that she went to dinner at Stouffer's at Northland with Mrs. Brown. Now, either Mrs. Brown has a birthday on the third Thursday or fourth Thursday of November... Or there's another reason why this lady is continually going to Stouffer's with Mrs. Brown on the fourth Thursday of the year of November, okay? This is 1965, nothing recorded for the first Thursday. Second, she goes to, with Char to Northland, this is a shopping mall around here, on the second Thursday. On the third Thursday, there's nothing recorded. On the fourth Thursday, once again, Mrs. Brown for dinner, and she stayed for the night. Okay, now let's go to 1966. 1966, first Thursday it snowed, Char got her hair done at Northland. Second Thursday it rained. Third Thursday, dinner at Stouffer's. Now that is interesting because this is the third Thursday. But look at the additional information here. It says, it says to the International Fair and Michigan Artists Opening. You guys, no fair or artist opening is gonna open on Thanksgiving Day. No way. But here we go again. On the fourth Thursday, dinner at Baxter. 
She's recording what she does, and it says it's Thanksgiving Day there. Okay, 1967. First Thursday, it's cloudy and colder. Let's see. Second Thursday, Char had a library meeting at the Stevenson Building. Third Thursday, it was just cold. Fourth Thursday, dinner at Stouffer's Nath Northland with Mrs. Brown. Again. Okay, we've only got a couple more to go through, but I just want to keep this. I just want to keep showing you what are the things that made me wonder for my own edification, okay? First Thursday, Chaz went to the dentist. This is 1968. Second Thursday, Chaz had a lecture. Third Thursday, Char had her hair done at Edwards. Supper was at the Pancake House. Okay, so on the third Thursday, this lady is going to doctor's appointments. She's having people's hair done. More doctor's appointments on the third Thursday continuing. But look at what's on the fourth Thursday. Thanksgiving, she wrote it. Dinner at Stouffer's at Northland with Mrs. Brown. Okay, now, here's more. This is November. The first Thursday, it was gloomy and colder. Second Thursday, Char had her hair done at Edwards. Picked up Chaz. Picked Chaz up dinner at Thora's. Third Thursday, Char stayed for a PT meeting. Why would you have a PT meeting on Thanksgiving Day? And on the fourth Thursday, which is Thanksgiving Day, Montross and Mrs. Brown came for dinner, and it was sort of nice. Okay, now here's the last one for that lady. And then I can show you what my grandma said. Okay, Thursday, first Thursday, it rained. Second Thursday, something I can't read. Her handwriting, her handwriting gets pretty bad. Third Thursday, she is home doing washing, and she mopped up near the sump pump. That took me a while to figure out what she'd written there. Okay, but she mopped up around the sump pump. But on the fourth Thursday, which says it's Thanksgiving, something or other to dinner, they saw a movie and they watched a movie, My Fair Lady. Now in 1996, they could very easily be watching a VCR. Now, let me just show you these. These are from my grandma, okay? This is November of 1991, see? This is her handwriting. This is my grandma's handwriting. Okay, these are my aunts and uncles. She was talking about everybody being there today. This is in 1991, the fourth Thursday. Here we go again. Now this one, it doesn't say what she did, but I can tell you by who came to dinner. My, uh, my cousin Mel came in on American Airlines flight to the airport, and my aunt and uncle came today, the day before Thanksgiving, and they would usually do that. They would stay for a few days to visit her. Okay, so there you go, Thanksgiving Day. Now, she, didn't have, she doesn't have anybody coming on these days. Now, here's another one. This one's a big deal. Make capoletti. <laughs> That's our favorite dish. This is a soup she used to make. All right, so here we go. This says Thanksgiving Day on here, but she didn't make capoletti very often. That's why it would actually be on her calendar. Okay, in 1994, my grandma was 74 years old. So make capoletti, that was a big deal for her. And here, this is her handwriting. See, Thanksgiving Day. And I know she was Catholic. <laughs> One, two, three, four, four. And, uh, and that's it. So there we have it, you guys. Hopefully what you've, what you've been able to glean from this is that if you're going to assert that the Mandela effect has changed the date, okay, you've got to account for the fact that we have, just in, in, just, in just my records of people one of them I know, the other one I don't know. We have all these records that indicate on the third Thursday, okay, especially for this other lady here, the third Thursday of November, this woman was doing very un-Thanksgiving like <laughs> activities, taking people to the doctors, getting their hair done, stuff like that, mopping up around the sump pump, okay? But on the fourth Thursday, every single solitary year, she is doing something consistent year after year after year after year. Okay, now these are the pieces of evidence that just make me think I have to question myself. Although I do remember the day that I, I somebody told me it was the, no, it's the fourth Thursday of Thanksgiving. I was like, no, wait a minute. I thought it was the third. But, but on that day that I remember being shocked about that, I have to admit, I had not been making Thanksgiving dinner for a couple of years at that point. It's possible that I'm wrong. And that's what I'm trying to encourage you guys to do is just to show you that, look, 
we can admit in humility if we're wrong. Now, I can't explain what happened with um, Star Wars and with, uh, I can give you an, an explanation possibly for Forrest Gump too. You guys, why don't you go through that movie and see if he ever says that verse right? See if he ever says life is like a box of chocolates anywhere in the video. I bet you he does. I haven't seen it in a long time, but I have a feeling that he actually says it correctly at another point in that video. If, if he says it incorrectly throughout the whole video, then, then my theory's wrong. But my theory is that there are good explanations for it. For like that Cinderella thing, mirror, mirror on the wall. You guys, the book actually still says mirror, mirror on the wall. Okay, so there are some explanations for these things. And my, what I propose possibly for this one is that we just remember thaw and thaw, like third Thursday, when it's actually the fourth Thursday. That's because the sounds are similar. That's all. So I just thought I'd share this stuff with you. Hopefully this was interesting to you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.